Okay, so we have our first page started and you know we still have some content, we can still work with how we're gonna stylize it. Um, but we wanna do our second page. And what's excellent about CSS is we've already built all of this CSS, so we can then take it and build a second page. Now, you might feel like, well, you know, what I could do is I could just go file, save as, and give it the second page's name and delete the content and re-put re it in. Um, I'll show you how to do that both ways. So I'm gonna do my volunteer page. So I can come file, save as, and I can name it volunteer. Save. All right, so now I can see that I have index.html and I have volunteer.html. Because we could say that, you know, our pages are gonna end up looking the same, right? But all I'm gonna do is I would come on out and I would delete some of this info. So I would delete the content. Maybe I wanna have, um, you know, okay, in order to delete it, let me go into my design view. I can't do that in live. So I could come on in and I could select certain things. I could hit delete, delete. I could select this. I could hit delete. I could delete about us, about us. I could actually come in. I could write volunteer. All right, maybe I want to actually keep, because what's happens on a web page, too, a lot of the elements stay the same. So we can build templates, and there are templates in Dreamweaver as well. So there's a lot of different ways that you can work around this and keep working with things, right? So then this could be our volunteer page. Now, another thing that we could do, I'm going to hit File, Save All, is we could come, if we created a whole new page, we would say File, New. Again, we would make it HTML. We would hit Create. This is just another way to create a page. Um, we're going to hit HTML, we'll hit create, and then we can come on here and we can say that we want to attach the CSS. So I'm going to click right to here and I'm going to browse and I'm going to attach River CSS. I'm going to hit open and I'm going to hit OK. OK. So what you could do is when you go in to insert the header, you could just put the name the one that we created before was named Bike Banner. Now, we don't want a new CSS rule. We already have the CSS built. So I'm gonna, just gonna hit OK, and there it is. Um, and again, I can come in and write the words, this Google Trail. Okay. Uh, we can look at it in live view, and we can see that that's what it looks like in this one as well. So Google Road Trail. Well, I didn't put it in the right way per se, but that's okay. All right, so we can go, we can do the next one. I just want to show you one more time. Uh, the next one that we inserted was navigation, and we, if we go to our CSS, we named our navigation nav bar. So we come back in, and we can say insert navigation, and we're going to just say nav bar. We want to say we want to insert it after tag, after bike banner, we hit OK, and it comes on in, and we can put the content in. So I think you get the idea. Again, once the CSS is attached, you can reuse and insert any of the commands that you've, that you've already created. So there we have it, creating a second page. We can go through and link it, uh, add our content, and keep moving along. Thanks so much.